Hi, I'm Jennifer Love. I'm a passionate, authentic intuitive who uses divine guidance to help people love themselves and live more fully in their bodies. This is your weekly love connection for the week of December 25th through the 31st. You can choose a card from one to three, or I've assigned a card for your unique situation. Card number one is for folks who are in crisis who need immediate answers and support. Card number two is if you happen to be single. And card number three is for folks in relationships who just want a little guidance. This week, we are using the Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. Just wanted to say Happy Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, we'll get started with card number one. So card number one is mindfulness and it says peaceful presence, quiet mind. So if you're feeling like things are really overwhelming and you don't know what to do, you feel like you're in crisis mode, it's time to take a step back and quiet your mind, try to get into some meditation. That is the most hardest thing to do. I know when you feel like you're freaking out is to go into a meditation practice. But, um, and I know a lot of people who say, I don't know how to meditate. I can't even sit still for two seconds. So the clients that I find that can't meditate, um, you need to do a guided meditation. So get some AirPods, earbuds, whatever, headphones, and find a guided meditation on YouTube, on Spotify, on Apple Music, whatever, and listen to somebody talk because it can just get you kind of out of your own thoughts for a while and centered into a meditation. Um, obviously, I prefer um, my spiritual teachers, uh, uh, Radley Valentine, Kyle Gray, they do great meditations. I have a meditation on my own website. If you go to thejenniferlove.com, you can get a free love meditation. It's a self-love meditation um, on my website. Um, so there really is no reason why you cannot practice mindfulness, um, even if it's so quote unquote difficult for you. Um, that is the guidance this week is for you to take a step back. If you feel like you're in a crisis to really practice some mindfulness, really take some care of yourself because you are really overloaded in your head and it's starting to affect your health. Card number two is for my singles or anybody who chose card number two. This is a lovely card of prosperity and it says abundance and success. It's card number 42, if that number is anything significant to you. It kind of looks like um, the Wizard of Oz and the Yellow Brick Road to me for, for some reason. But um, this card, you know, obviously it's a great sign of like upcoming abundance for you, prosperity and success. If you've been like, you know, um, struggling in that area or if you've been looking for a job or unemployed um, you know prosperity is coming your way that's wonderful um, in terms of your love life um, if you've been you know single and struggling this is a good sign that you know you're on the way you're on the path to success in terms of you know where you want to be um, you're on the right path right um, of whatever you're doing it's right you know um, I would suggest going out on New Year's Eve <laughs> um, if you want some success and prosperity in terms of your love life. So, um, yeah, it just looks like everything is going to turn out great. You're, you're on the road. You're on your way. Um, so there's nothing really to be um, afraid about or scared about. Um, you're obviously doing all the things you need to do um, to get to where you want to be. Um, so yeah, I think this is a great, uh, card for you this week. Card number three is for those in relationships or anybody who chose card number three. This is a lovely card of connections and it is card number 29. It says partnership, contract, commitment. Um, it's interesting that it's holding like this person holding a bunch of emeralds in their hand. Um, I'm not quite sure what that has to do with connection. Um, I've never 
heard of emeralds being associated with commitment or connection, but um, this is a wonderful card in terms of relationships, I feel. Um, if you're wanting to deepen your connection, strengthen your partnership, strengthen your relationship, this is obviously a good sign. Um, you're increasing your connection to your partner. You're making new connections. Um, you're increasing your intimacy, you're deepening your commitment. So this could also be a card of like, um, I know a lot of people tend to um, get engaged around Christmas or New Year's. So um, this could be a signal of that. Um, this could be you moving in together. This could be taking your commitment to another level, um, anything like that. So um, yeah, this is just any sort of like increased connection. This might be a reconnection for some people. If you feel like you've separated in some way, um, this could be like a rekindling. This is like entering a new contract together. So this is like getting married. Um, you know, so, um, yeah, if you feel like your partnership is somehow, um, deepening to a new level, this is confirmation that that is what is occurring here. So I hope that any, some, all these messages resonated with you this week. And I just wanted to say, um, Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. And I will see you in 2024.